Hey folks, Rajesh Patel here with Red Acre Investments. Did Synergy Pharmaceuticals make a really terrible deal? Things might not be as bad as they seem. Stick around to find out why. Synergy Pharmaceuticals just filed an 8K today where they announced a conversion of some of their outstanding convertible debt into equity. And what they announced is that $82.1 million of principal plus interest is being converted and Synergy expects to issue somewhere around 33.3 million shares. Now I'll get back to the expects to issue in a minute. So if you just take $82.1 million divide it by 33.3 million shares, you'd end up with a price of $2.46 a share. Now that's a really terrible deal because Synergy stock price closed at around $3.40 just yesterday. There's no reason for them to offer that much of a discount to convert debt that is already convertible at $3.11 a share. It makes no sense for them to do that. Now investors had a knee-jerk reaction. They did that simple math. They said $2.46, this doesn't make sense, and the stock is selling off today. So we didn't think this deal made a lot of sense, and we decided that we wanted to contact management and get their side of the story. So I had a phone conversation with Gary Sender, Synergy's CFO, to understand what exactly this deal entails and why they did it right now, and why they saw it as a positive for the company. So first of all, let's remember the deal that Synergy did previously. Back in November of 2014, Synergy issued convertible debt for about $200 million, and that convertible debt had a conversion price of $3.11 per share. And back then, the fully diluted share count for Synergy became 190 million shares, give or take. Now, the $79.7 .7 million of principal that they're retiring right now was already counted in that 190 million fully diluted share count. So the 25.1 million shares that they're issuing because of the principal was already counted in that 190 million. However, the 7.7 .7 million shares, that is the difference between the principal amount of 25.1 million and the 33.3 .3 that Synergy expects to issue, that, those are new shares and they're not part of the fully diluted share count. So what's really going on here is Synergy is retiring $79.7 .7 million of debt at $3.11 a share, no surprise there, we already knew that was the conversion price, but they're also issuing 7.7 .7 million new shares. Now, in the 8K, they disclosed that there was about $2.4 million of accrued but unpaid interest. It doesn't make sense for Synergy to issue 7.7 .7 million shares for just $2.4 million worth of interest. So what exactly is going on here? Well, when I talked to Gary Sender, this is what he told me. He said, look, these debt holders had debt that was paying them 7.5% interest. And we were obligated to pay that interest for the next four years, 2016 through 2019. So there was no reason for the debt holders to convert and give up that interest. In order to kind of sweeten the deal and induce them to convert now, what Synergy has done is they've essentially paid them their interest in the form of stock. If you take the roughly $80 million in principal at 7.5% interest rate, that works out to about $24 million in interest that Synergy would have had to pay in cash over the next four years. Instead of that, what Synergy has done is they've given the debt holders 7.7 .7 million shares of Synergy stock. So if you take $24 million divided by 7.7, .7, you get around $3.08 to $3.10 a share, depending on the exact interest amount. So that's actually not an unreasonable deal. That's pretty much the same price as the conversion price of the principal for that debt. And what Synergy has done is they've reduced their cash outlay by $24 million over the next four years. And that's actually a really good thing because cash is very precious for Synergy right now. So the cash burn for this year is reduced by $6 million. Now I know that that's not a lot of money, but right now every little bit helps. Synergy ended 2015 with $111 million on the books. And in 2015, they burned $101 million. And according to our analysis, 
the cash burn is not necessarily going to be any lower in 2016 because even though their clinical trials are ramping down, their launch activities and, and pre-launch preparations are ramping up. So the cash burn should be pretty much the same as it was in 2015. So the optics of the deal looked really bad and Synergy could have done a much better job of communicating to investors exactly why they're doing this deal and how the mechanics work. There is a provision in there for a five day volume weighted average price, but that five day volume weighted average price has a floor to it at $2.75 and it actually doesn't make that much of a difference. It, it may affect how many shares are, are issued, but not by a whole lot. Essentially, Synergy was expecting the volume weighted average price to be somewhere around $3.20 to $3.25 over the five day period. Now the stock has dropped to well below $3.00 a share right now, and if it stays there, that's perfectly fine. Synergy may end up issuing a few more shares, uh, but at the end of the day, they're retiring a lot of debt and saving that cash expense, and that's the benefit to the company. In fact, uh, I confirmed with Gary Sender that according to their internal models, this deal was net positive for them on a discounted future cash flow basis. So all in all, we think it's actually a smart deal and we think that investors have had a knee jerk reaction and have misinterpreted what ex exactly is going on here. Now, while I had management on the phone, I also confirmed a few other things. Management reiterated their guidance about their timelines for this year. Synergy has two big ongoing phase three clinical trials of their lead drug placanotide in IBSC, that's constipation predominant irritable bowel syndrome. The first clinical trial is set to read out in the first half of 2016, and the second clinical trial is set to read out in the second half of 2016, and Synergy expects to file the new drug application for plucanotide for IBSC by the end of the year. They reiterated that guidance. So there's been no change in the timelines for those trials, and we think on balance, this deal is actually pretty good. And if you are a longer term investor or maybe even a swing trader that's looking for a, a several month hold, then you should be buying the dip right now because investors have misunderstood the deal that Synergy just did. So that's what's going on with Synergy Pharmaceuticals. Now, if you wanna find out more about all of the other binary events that are going on in the months of March and April, head over to redacre.com and check out our video, Biotech Binary Event Watch. I'm Rajesh Patel with Red Acre Investments. Thanks for watching and stay ahead of the curve.